Hello, my floss tube friends. I am sorry, but I totally neglected to share a super cool box that I got that I have to share. So, um, maybe two months ago, saw a post on Instagram from Stitchy Box. Liz at Stitchy Box posted that she was looking for beta testers, which means, you know, hey, try it out. Tell me what you think of her new Stash Delights box. And so I was like, yes, please. And I went over and purchased one. So October is the first month that went out to beta testers. It went out to folks who, um, it was a very limited run to get our thoughts on this as an overall product value, like the quality of the things, what was coming and so excited to share it with you today. So I'll do a little bit of a show and tell. So it came with, um, this is their logo, Stash Delights October 2020 by Stitchy Box. It had a letter that it kind of explained um, the thought process behind it, things like that, and what would be included, generally speaking. So the first thing is, is a delicious treat. And so we got a Dutch Stroop waffle from fing it's finger licking made in the Netherlands caramel waffle cookies. So I know that you can like put these on top of your hot cocoa or your tea and it sits on top of your mug and warms up and the caramel goes all gooey. So it was interesting because when this came, Joy Filled Little One was like, can we have it? Can we have it now? And I was like, no, I have shown in my video. She was like, oh, bummer. Um, so then the next thing that was in here that I thought was beautiful is some amazing, Hand-dyed cotton velveteen from Fiber on a Whim. It's a nine by 10 cut in the color Tuscan. So one thing that I noticed is there's kind of a color theme in all of this. Um, the next bit of things or bit of items is in this beautiful recycled sari bag. And there's information in the letter about the fact that this um, helps employ ladies in India. And it comes with an assortment of beautiful flosses. So the first one is a Stitchy Box exclusive from um, Gentle Arts. This is Autumn Shadow. And I do love that even though it's a limited edition, it has a name. Then also in here is a color in cotton, which is an is autumn like one of a kind colorway, eight yards. It's beautiful from Color and Cotton. It includes a stitchy silk by Stitchy Box, and this is in the color Pine. And then it included two of their new flower silk duos, also by Stitchy Box. And the first one is Alabaster, and the second is the October 2020. So the first Alabaster, and excuse me, this is just flower silk, it's not the duo. And this is eight yards, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful creamy colorway. And then the second one is their new flower silk duos and it's five yards and it's gorgeous. I am filming this actually on my iPhone. It seems very dim, but I had already put away my lighting and all of that. So hopefully it's not terrible. Now I did want to share with you before I share the last um, items that it talks, she wanted to know kind of our thoughts on the flower silk duos. It is a brand new in-house silk line. The duo version is something quite special. Each skein contains five lengths of variegated 60 plus or minus inch thread featuring a six color progression. You can use the thread in a variety of ways. You can square up your lengths so the color repeats match and cut the lengths down into two, three, or even six pieces to create complementary mini skeins. You can maintain the entire six color progression by pulling out your strands from a length and then cutting the strands into three pieces. Remember that you will lose some of the thread from the end of each piece, so keep that in mind when deciding where to cut. Ideally, you would like to cut towards the middle of a color so you don't jump to a new part of the color progression when you start. And then she says, for experienced thread wranglers only, yes, you can stitch with the entire 60 inch strand. I have done it. 
you will need to wax your thread as it will be going in and out of the fabric for a long time. And I would recommend only doing this if you are using a single strand of floss. Two or more will increase the knotting possibilities. I will tell you this much. I don't have the cojones to um, do an entire 60 inch strand, but this is beautiful. I love that all of it plays so well together and creates a beautiful palette down even to the sari bag, the silk sari bag. So as you can see, it's a very autumnal feeling, um, even with the bag that it came in. Now there is more, wait, there's more. There's this super cute little bag that says tiny goodies inside and they are goodies, no joke. And I have looked at this because I couldn't wait. So in here, we have some Precioso candy beads, and this is an opaque satin copper eight millimeter. They are beautiful. They look like little um, pieces of candy, like truly. Then we've got some antique brass plated copper leaf charms. Quite a few of those. Natural two millimeter, two millimeter golden rutilated, rutilated quartz which is beautiful. Glass cord enders. Look how fun those are. And then Delica 11 zero seed beads in 24 karat gold. So this box, um, as far as I know, let me give you the additional details off the bottom to tell you because um, they have decided to go ahead and roll these out to the general public. Um, let me give you the details. Let's see. The retail price will be, I don't have that information, but I know it's on their website. As far as I know, the signups are opening mid-November and the first box is in January. So um, you can visit uh, Stitchy Box on their Instagram and find out more details. I will be signing up um, because I love the kind of beautifully curated collection of items and how um, gorgeous they are. So let me see if I can get it to give me some kind of a screen grab that makes sense. So who knows if that'll work or not. If not, you just saw me doing my goofy posts again. So with that, I really am done with y'all this evening. And so happy stitching. Check out uh, Stitchy Box on their Instagram to find out more information about the stash delights that will be coming in the new year. So have a great one. And I hope you have some fantastic stitching this weekend. Bye.